And sometimes mm -hmm. it's hard for me to be, make friends with other white kids or Hispanic kids mm -hmm. to tell them, hey, I'm black, this is what I've been through, or I've been like, people around me treat me. In this school, I've been called racial slurs in the hallway by random people so they can have like their fun but sometimes it just hurts. My way of dealing with it is I make the joke before they do. He called me a and he thought it was hilarious. Like, and you know, my jaw dropped. I was like, um, I don't know if you know this, but it's not okay to say that. It's disrespectful. And he's like, no, it isn't. Like he tried to defend himself and he tried to tell himself like, oh no, like I'm okay. I'm in the right because like, that's not racist, that's not discriminatory. And I was like, it literally is. Like, Somebody made a joke of saying, um, like, are you okay today? And they're like, no. And he's like, what happened? Did you wake up on the wrong side of the border? And I was like. Well, one time I was sitting at a table with a group of my friends. Uh, and some person came over, slammed um, an anti-gay flag paper on the table. <laughs> and just ran away. She would always say like, I look like horse poop and all this stuff because I was brown. And she said that I would like, I like to be on like the monkey bars and stuff. And she said I was like a monkey because my skin color and all this stuff. The first thing I know like was a lot of people say, they always say, I thought you were gonna be the most like, like me person ever and just be like cussing me out and stuff. But I don't swear like at all. I had this bad experience with everyday lunch these five guys would come up to me and it would rotate through them and they would just go pretty much tell me to kill myself. And they go, Aliyah, you're Mexican, right? And I was like, yeah. And they go, why are you here then? And I was like, what? And they were like, yeah, go build the wall for Trump right now. And I was like, yeah. And they go, you're a woman too. Aren't you supposed to be home at cleaning and cooking? So like once I was just walking around school and they're like, Shouldn't you be picking cotton? It just made me disgusted because how can you look at me and think you they don't even know what people went through back then. Here I was getting cyberbullied just because of my skin tone. They're like saying, You're black, you can't do that and I'm like I'm it's just my skin tone and like it kinda almost drew me to like, you know, kill myself because I felt like me being black wasn't good. Like it I can't be black, I have to be a different race in order to fit in. I think there's been times people as make assumptions about you and stuff like that. Like, uh, as an Asian, I don't think many people assume you're athletic or built. They think they just think you do taxes and stuff like that. Like, at the moment when they call me that, I just, I'm shocked, but because of how people really will say that in front of my face, and I barely know them, and then I overthink it, and then I start to get depressed. I very much, fear um, uh, getting that that hate and discrimination. Um, it, it gives me a lot of anxiety. It makes me, makes me really mad. Honestly, it doesn't make me sad. It kind of makes me like sad because there's like so many cool people out there that like won't like talk to me just because I'm different from them and they don't know, understand. Probably the fact that like, they're judging me on my skin tone and they're making it seem like they don't care about me because of my color, my skin. It just drew me to like depressed and suicidal thoughts. I was like, oh my gosh, maybe if I just die and I'll wake up probably in a different skin color. Honestly, I stopped letting it hurt, but at the same time, words do have power. Like they'll say something dumb just to get a giggle or a laugh from a friend. And you know, sometimes it's like, you know, like you need to educate yourself. Like it's never that funny. Know your surroundings, cause like sometimes they just blurt it out without knowing and not um, knowing it's gonna affect people around them. I think they should just like, try not to make homophobic jokes. So that you understand, you're like, oh, like that's not okay to say. Or like, oh, that really hurt my friend. Maybe I should stop saying that too. Definitely would say, if you're curious, ask questions, but don't ask them in a mean way. And the more educated you get, for me personally, the less 
we focus on hurting other people or on spreading things that are hurtful. I think that it would be great for people to come to the GSA, talk to us and get to know us um, as just regular people. We don't know what other people are going through or what it's like to be that culture and stuff like that. We all come from different backgrounds and uh, cultures and stuff. We're all raised differently. Um, but I think uh, if we can think about uh, where that person's from and try to take a step in their shoes, um, it would benefit all of us.